In this video, I'll show you how to get access to the currency data for a CRM using the Luke script. What we're going to do is use this API endpoint here to get information about the API. So we duck into a CRM, we'll go into setup, and then the first thing we need to do is create a connection if we don't have one already. This will allow us to integrate with any CRM endpoint. I've got a few already, but I'll make a new one. So I'm going to choose Zoho OAuth, and then to do Zoho CRM endpoints, and then we go down to Zoho CRM, and we may as well just tick all of them. If you wanted to scope it to only do certain endpoints, you could do that, but so that I can reuse this one in the future. I'm going to allow it to be able to do everything. I think, actually, rather than taking all of them, I can just go where it has modules.all. That will allow me to access all of them. So I'll just choose the ones that have .all. All right, I think I've got everything I need. I can always come back and adjust this connection later if I need to. Let's set it up. You can see all of the API scopes. Now, if we copy that, what we'll do is we'll make a new standalone custom function. We're going to get the currency data. Looks like I missed a scope there. Go back and add that in. Just go edit and I'll come down and find the currencies part. Okay, there we go. And then, because this is a standalone function, I could actually integrate using, say, a Python script. I can trigger this function as an external API. And that makes it far easier to be able to get the information from the Zoho CRM API. 